Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 26. No, yes, yes, 26. But we do know the time is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have for a message for the 26? Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is very grounded, very realistic. This is a planner. Um, has a golden opportunity in their hand. This is somebody that is, is building a foundation. I guess we'll take those. This is moving at a slow pace, typically. So we have somebody here that is planning something, but they're moving kind of slow. There's some sort of unhappiness here. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy at all. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of fertility. Seven of Swords reversed. Hmm, trapped. Somebody's went next to the Eight of Swords. Somebody's trapped. They're confined. They're held back by fear. They can step out of their comfort zone, but their fear is too big. So somebody's in their fear. That's why they're they're stagnant. You know, there's some sort of stagnation or they're not really moving. So it looks like we have somebody here that's not really moving. They're fearful. Um, fearful maybe about getting caught or getting rejected or something like that. Getting let down. Somebody's fearful of getting let down or getting hurt or something like that. I think it's fearful of rejection. Anyhow, uh, somebody is looking at an ending. They are looking at an ending. They're suffering. They're in some sort of pain and they're sad. So we have somebody here that is sad. They, they, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're planning something. They have a plan, but I don't think they, that they're reacting to the plan. There's been some sort of abuse or something with the Five of Swords reversed, or there's some, been some sort of hostilities. And now we have somebody that is just, it's like they're just waiting. They're just waiting and they're wasting time. It feels like they're wasting time. Um, we have somebody here that is, uh, needs to find a new approach. They do need to find a new approach, but their fear is really big right here. Um, somebody could be coming clean. They do need to come clean. They do need to own up. They do need to be honest and act with integrity. But they're in some sort of disillusionment with the sun card reversed. I mean, that's disillusionment. That's uh, that's that's darkness. That is a period of darkness. So somebody is in a dark place. Um, they're having a hard time seeing clearly what they need to do. This is a very cunning, clever individual who may have a hard time owning up to what they've done. You know, and they're and that's what it is. They're having a hard time owning up to the truth. They've deceived. They've done something that is deceitful. They've done something hurtful by the looks of things with the Seven of Swords reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. Somebody's done something and I feel like they've ignored some advice. Um, there's cowardly behavior here. So we have somebody here that is acting like a coward. Um, it's like they, they have an opportunity, but you know they'd have to act with integrity because the Knight of Pentacles is all about integrity. Um, so somebody's planning something, but they're really having a hard time and they're suffering and they've re and something has reached the end with the 10 of swords. That is a, that's a major ending of some sort. This is like giving up, you know, um, this is goodbye. It's the end. It's the end of a situation, the end of a battle with the five of swords right next to it. This is the end of a battle. So we have a battle that is ending because we have somebody here that needs to find their courage, but it feels like they're lacking courage. It does. Um, hmm. There's some sort of poor logic here. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. And on the outside, they appear to be happy, but they're not. They're really, really not. And whoever this person is, they're, they're really in a lot of mental turmoil. Somebody may be thinking about going back to something, but they've done something very shady 
They've done something definitely shady. Somebody's done something very, very shady. It's a lot of fear. Fear, fear, fear. Fear of... I feel, I feel like it's rejection. But this is also... I mean, the Five of Swords reversed is... Um, I don't know. It could be peace talks. So somebody maybe want, maybe they want peace, you know. Maybe they've realized something. Because this is a realist, the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that is very realistic. Somebody has realized something. They've finally realized something is over. They've pushed somebody away. Hmm. Five of Swords reversed. This is like... I just want to be happy. I don't want to fight anymore. I feel like somebody is wanting to stop fighting. They may want peace, but they don't. There's too much fear to step outside of their comfort zone, take their mask off, and be honest. Something like that. What is this Five of Swords reversed? We have somebody here that wants to be right. You know, they don't want to own up and they need to own up to the truth. Three of Pentacles. Now, Three of Pentacles is about togetherness. It's about working together. It's about teamwork, collaboration and communication. So there could be some communication that is coming in. There could be. Somebody may be communicating, you know, wanting to work together after there's been some sort of betrayal. There's definitely been a betrayal or a deception or fighting or a power struggle. This is about working together. There's an opportunity to work together. There is. But it will it will take cooperation and collaboration and honesty. And I feel like there's been a lot of dishonesty. This is about acting with integrity. So we have somebody here that needs to act with integrity. They need to do the right thing. It's not about being right. It's about doing the right thing. So we have somebody here that is, is thinking about it right now. They're thinking about taking a new approach, but I feel like there's ego here because the Five of Swords in the upright is about ego. This is about letting go of ego and working together. So somebody has to let go of their ego and work together, and they're suffering right now because of their ego, and they're in a dark place. And they're not happy about their circumstances, but the only way to fix their circumstances is to communicate and work together and not worry about being right it's about doing the right thing whether you know um you are right or somebody doesn't agree with you it's about doing the right thing i feel like i mean the knight of pentacles is a hard worker you know this is a hard worker somebody that works hard for everything that they have Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, they, they have a, an opportunity in their hand for success. They absolutely do. This is somebody that is reliable, that is responsible. Typically, you know, that can be. But they have to get moving. So somebody needs to move. This is breaking free. I feel like we do have somebody here that is breaking free. They are going to be. They may be breaking free from a dark place where they're not happy. This is over. It's over. I mean, the Ten of Swords is it's over. Something is over. It's painful. And it is the end of suffering. I mean, the Ten of Swords is the end of suffering. It's the death of a situation where there's been a lot of power struggles. There has been. Two of Pentacles reverse. So there's some sort of loss here. There is a loss. Somebody is experiencing. There is somebody is experiencing a loss, and there's a lack of growth as well. Poor health. Somebody may not be healthy. They may be uh, biting off more than they can chew. Somebody is trying to do too much. They they're not very flexible. They're not very adaptable. If you have somebody here that needs to adapt, they need to be flexible. They need to make better choices. Somebody's made some poor choices. And now they're suffering. Now they're really, really suffering because of the choices that, they're ma that they made. And they may be feeling defeated.
Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is all about stability, holding on. We have somebody here that is very, very stubborn. This person wants to hold on. But it feels like they don't have the means to hold on. We have somebody here that may not be being realistic, which is interesting. This is dis de delusional. This is delusional. So we could have somebody here that is delusional. They want to hold on to something that, you know isn't stable i mean this isn't this isn't stable this is too much somebody's made a poor decision they've made a poor choice this is holding on to stability not letting go somebody is is struggling to let go they're struggling to let go they're going to be letting go of something because something's coming to an end it's definitely coming to an end i wonder if there's if sometimes with the five of swords reverse there's some sort of crime that is being exposed so there could be some exposure that is causing struggles Ooh, eight of cups reversed and we do have pain so we have suffering we do this is the this is the end of suffering which it is somebody has been suffering they've been in a painful situation there's been a lot of heartache and grieving but this is moving on on the path to recovery this is leaving the past hurts behind perhaps there's some forgiveness somebody may want forgiveness they've been thinking about coming back that is thinking about coming back maybe even apologizing somebody may be apologizing for their behavior they may somebody also may be thinking about leaving because the eight of cups can be thinking about leaving and taking a lot of time to think about something somebody is taking a lot of time to think about either leaving or going back whatever that means to you they're taking their time to think about something and they're planning whatever whichever way it goes they're planning it right now they're making the plans this is somebody that is very stubborn and they're focused on stability. You know, they want stability, they want security, and they don't want to let go. It feels like they don't want to let go of their stance. That's what I feel. It's like we got somebody here that is not very flexible. This person is not very flexible and they're, therefore they're losing something. They're losing something because they're unable to be flexible. Now this Eight of Cups reversed, that is a disappointment. Somebody is disappointed. They're pretending to be happy. They're superficial. They're shallow. They're staying put. They're avoiding something. They're staying in a situation that isn't happy. You know what I mean? It's not happy. And they're refusing to move on. We definitely have somebody here that is extremely stubborn. Extremely stubborn. And they're feeling they're feeling uneasy. Right now they're feeling uneasy. They're, they, it feels like their equilibrium is off. They're, they're struggling. Somebody is really, really struggling with an ending. Struggling with either letting go or going back or they're struggling with, you know, their thoughts. They're really, really struggling with breaking free from their fear. So somebody is in a lot of fear and they, you know, they have a golden opportunity right now. Because the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that has an opportunity for long-term success right in the palm of their hand. But they will have to face their fears. And this is very fearful. This is somebody that is, I think they're fearful of rejection. Anyhow, um, Eight of Cups reversed, thinking about something. Not happy at all. Somebody is not, and this is a miser, somebody that is, is very, very, you know, stubborn. Um, doesn't want to give an inch, you know, um, but they're struggling. They're struggling a lot. Um, really focused on money, focused on financial stability as well. We have somebody here that is very much focused on their money more than they have been focused on love because there's, I don't see any love in these cards. I don't, I think there's a lack of love. 
the lack of growth and there's a lack of happiness because without love, I mean, you can say you're happy with just money. That's a fucking lie. Everybody wants love. That's deception. That's self-deception. So anyhow, I do believe that we have somebody here that is suffering. They are lonely because the sun reverse is lonely, whether they're with somebody or not. And they're stubborn as hell. And they are planning something, but they're not taking any action. Um, they're thinking about it right now. <laughs> they're thinking about it. And um, it's like, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? You know, what is, what's it going to be? That's the Five of Swords reverse. You can, you can choose to fight your feelings because this is feelings and this is fight. And you can be miserable and lonely and sad. Or you can be realistic and practical and responsible and do the right thing for you. The choice is yours. Somebody's making a poor choice and they have made a poor choice. Good luck.